Today's episode is focused on celebrating our longtime teaching pastor, Cheryl Matheson, as she prepares for her retirement. Stay tuned. Hello, friends. Pastor Tim Westermeyer here, senior pastor of St. Philip the Deacon in the western suburbs of Minneapolis. Good to be with you as always. Today, I want to talk about something that we do not talk about very much here at St. Philip the Deacon, which is a staff transition. Just a couple of day of hours before I'm taping this, uh, you may have seen this news already. We announced that our longtime teaching pastor, Pastor Cheryl Matheson, has uh, decided to retire. She's in her 22nd year of ministry here at St. Philip Deacon. She is in her 35th year of being a pastor. She served three other churches before St. Philip Deacon. Um, and so with her, we celebrate all that she has done as a pastor, both here and at other churches. Uh, We celebrate her amazing ability to teach and to preach and to lead worship and to take trips uh, for our our congregation over the many years she's been here. Uh, And we say to her, well done, good and faithful servant. We are so grateful to you, Cheryl, for your ministry here. Um, And as I say, we don't say goodbye to staff very frequently at St. Philip the Deacon. People uh, tend to come here, and I think this is an indication of our health, and they stay for a long time. Uh, But when they do retire, uh, we like to celebrate them. So one of the things I want to be sure to just reinforce force in today's podcast, uh, and this was included in the letter announcing Cheryl's retirement, were a couple of opportunities we'll have to celebrate her publicly uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, her last uh, Sunday, by the way, will be May 12th, So, and this is the week of what, March uh, teens, whatever the, whenever this goes out. Uh, so it's about two months from now. Uh, so one time we'll have to celebrate her certainly will be on Sunday, May 12th. That'll be her last sermon. Uh, as we do at moments like this, we'll have cake and a reception for her. We'll have some parting gifts. Um, and then on Thursday, before that, on Thursday, May 2nd, uh, from 5 to 7 p.m., we will do an open house uh, in her honor uh, at nearby Wyzetta Country Club. Um, and so we encourage you to swing by and greet her then. And again, we'll have some um, uh, gifts for her at that point as well. So the most important thing I want to say uh, here is, again, thank you, Cheryl, and we wish you God's blessings during this time of transition. I do just want to say a word, though, about process now as we look to the future. We had a staff retreat last week where this news came up and we were dreaming about the future, and I said something very similar. Um, And we had our council meeting the night before this and discuss this. And again, I reinforced in both of those cases, the most important thing right now is celebrating Pastor Matheson. That said, um, we are looking to the future, of course. Uh, And so as we reported in the letter announcing Cheryl's retirement, we are beginning a a search for a new pastor in earnest, uh, effective immediately. Um, I can't say a lot about that, not because I'm hiding it, but because uh, we're just beginning the process. So with the executive team, with the council, with the staff here, we're sort of sitting with, okay, who are we looking for? What what role do we need this person to play as we think about this next chapter in the life of St. Philip the Deacon? Um, what I will commit to you is that we will be in touch with you. I will be in touch with the congregation uh, with whatever news we have to share in the weeks and months ahead. Um, and it's very difficult right now to put a timeline on it either. I mean, we were going to have to sort of see how the search goes, who we find, and uh, I hope we can move relatively quickly, but that may be out of our control. So if you have questions, questions about that. If you have inputs you'd like to provide to me, as always, I'm certainly open to hearing them. Uh, But again, the most important thing today is to say thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to Pastor Matheson. And I would invite you to keep her and her family in your prayers during this time of transition for her, and also keep this church and community in your prayers during this time of transition for us. So thanks as always for being with me. Be well, stay in touch, and God bless. Mm -hmm.